everybody and welcome to challenge number four of Can You Beat Mr. Brennan? Before you start your workout, please make sure that you are warmed up properly. The timings for this workout, you'll be doing each exercise for 30 seconds with a 15 second rest. The six exercises you're going to be doing in this workout are high knees, inchworms, burpees, bicep curls, the plank shoulder taps, and chair squats. The equipment that you'll need is a yoga mat or a towel, a chair, and two water bottles. These won't be used for drinking, they're gonna be used as weights. Please make sure that you use the correct technique for all the exercises. If you do not use the correct technique, your reps will not be counted. So please watch myself do the exercises first and listen to the instructions carefully. What I have done is written these six exercises on my whiteboard and then in the rest time, I can write down my score. So should we get started with challenge number four? Good luck and enjoy the workout. To start high knees, have your feet at shoulder width apart. On the balls of your feet, lift each leg up alternatively so your knees are bent at 90 degrees. Have your hands placed at hip height and try and get your knee to tap each hand. One rep is counted and knee taps your hand. Start an inchworm, stand up straight with your feet at shoulder width apart. Bend your knees, lower yourself to the ground and walk yourself forward on your hands until you're at full stretch. Walk yourself back with your hands and stand up straight. One rep is counted every time you're back into your start position. Perform a burpee, stand up straight with your feet at shoulder width apart. Drop your hands to the floor and kick both legs back so you're in the press up position. Tuck your both legs back up into your chest and jump off, off the floor so you're back into the start position. One rep is counted every time you are back up onto both feet. When doing bicep curls, stand up straight with your feet at shoulder width apart. Have the weights in your hands at hip height. Then curl your arms up so your elbows are now at 45 degrees and lower them back down to your hips. One rep is counted every time that the weights come back down to your hips at the start point. This should be a controlled movement, so do not rush your reps. Do a plank shoulder tap, start in the press up position with your hands at shoulder width apart. Then alternatively, bring each hand up to the opposite shoulder, tapping it each time. One rep is counted every time you tap your shoulder with the opposite hand.
When doing a chair squat, stand up straight with your feet at shoulder width apart. Have your hands on your head for balance. And then sit back down onto the chair so your legs are now at 90 degrees. Once your bottom places onto the chair, push yourself back up into the upright position. One rep is counted every time that you're back up into the start position. This is a controlled movement, so do not rush your reps. So I really enjoyed challenge number four, and I hope you guys do as well. I look forward to seeing all your scores, and let's see who can make it into next week's shout out video. If you're non-fasting, make sure that you stay hydrated and cool down properly. If you are fasting, maybe do it after Ishtar in the evening when you have more energy. Good luck and enjoy. Bye.